I'm going to describe how to use an interactive simulation that models laminar flow between two plates. The bottom plate is stationary, zero velocity, and the top plate is moving to the right and the velocity can be adjusted with this slider. And then what we're displaying on the x-axis, notice the x-axis units meters per second, we're displaying the velocity as indicated by these arrows. And of course the velocity at the wall is the same as, as the velocity of the moving plates, so the relative velocity there is zero. The pressure gradient can also be changed, and that's going to increase or decrease the velocity. And we'll see that when we look at the simulation. So the thing to keep in mind about this simulation, we're looking at laminar flow and steady state. This is a viscous liquid. So we'll, we'll now look at how as we change the velocity and the pressure gradient, this velocity profile changes. So let's look at this simulation. If we have no pressure gradient, and let me stop it at zero, and I move the top plate to the right, then we're going to have a velocity gradient and it notice that it's linear. If I now create a pressure gradient, you can see the velocity increases as the pressure gradient increases. So keep in mind there's no slip at the walls and that the liquid velocity relative to the wall velocity is zero and that this is laminar flow.